guys, so today I want to talk to you about why I personally choose to shoot a light stabilizer. Now when I say a light stabilizer, I'm not talking about total weight, I'm talking about the weight of the bar itself. So for this demonstration, I have two AAE bars in front of me, one of which is an Advantex bar, the other one is a nitrous bar. For the demonstration, we are going to say that this bar weighs 6 ounces and that this bar weighs 3 ounces. Now on the front of the 6 ounce bar, I have placed 3 ounces for a total of 9 ounces. And on the front of the Advantex bar, 3 ounce bar, I have 6 ounces on the front for a total of 9 ounces. So, two bars both weigh 9 ounces. Which bar do you think is going to aim better? Why do we have stabilizers? Why do we want the weight on the front? And why do we want it so far away from our bow? Well, my simple answer is gravitational downpull effect. What you want is that bar to pull, to stabilize, right? In wind and when you're nervous. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna hold this bar. They're both 30 inch bars. And I'm gonna go ahead and instantly I can feel in my hand, again, you can test this at home if you have multiple products to play with. This bar wants to pull down. I don't feel much weight here, but I feel a lot of pull on the end of the bar. And if I wiggle my hand, the front of the bar doesn't move so much, but the back hand moves a lot. Now, if I switch and I grab the other bar, okay, there's only three ounces on the front, six ounces in the bar. I feel the weight, it feels heavy, but it doesn't feel heavy on the end. It just feels heavy in general. When I go to move it, I'm doing the same thing. You can see that the front of the bar moves a lot more. That's because there's less weight on the front to pull it down and stabilize the bar. So, long story short, if you are a really strong guy and you can shoot as much weight as you want, then this video probably isn't for you and it doesn't concern you. But if you're somebody that struggles to get your bow to aim well because you can't put enough weight on the bow, this is something you need to consider. With these two bars, to get this bar to aim as good as this bar, you're going to need more weight on the front quite a bit more weight on the front to make this bar feel like it has the same gravitational downpull effect. Where with this bar, I can shoot nine ounces total, six ounces on the front, and it's gonna feel and aim much more stable. So I really hope that this makes sense to you guys. I hope that you guys can see through that demonstration why I personally choose to shoot a lighter stabilizer. This bar is lighter. When you pick a lighter bar, it's tending to be a little weaker. Um, but that's something that I've tested time and time again, and I actually really like aiming with a lighter, weaker bar. So I hope that explains to you guys how to basically go about choosing your bars. If you're a woman, sorry seniors, but if you're a senior or you're simply someone who wants better aiming but doesn't want more mass weight, the weight of your stabilizer drastically affects how your bow is going to aim based on the amount of front you're going to need on that bar or weight you're going to need on that front bar. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope this helps you guys in the future. If you have the availability to test this, test this for yourself. You will instantly see and feel what I'm talking about and it's going to make a lot of sense. Thanks for following along and subscribe to see more videos.